Could you shut off the Bitcoin mining if it was more profitable? Yes, I can turn it off and on. I don't have to take my Bitcoin price that I produce on a given day because I've got other cash flow coming from. So you're doing natural gas, but you're also doing um, Bitcoin mining. What percentage is with gas and what percentage is with the Bitcoin mining? So right. So back to the prior comment, capital is the other big piece of this, right? So yeah. we've only funded one, an initial mining development with about 400 kW, which consumes a little less than 8% of my total gas production. Okay. So I've got a lot of room to expand you on the mines. you got 92% and you're selling that back. In, to into me. a pipeline system, yeah. Theoretically, could you shut off the Bitcoin mining if it was more profitable? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. And as a, as a practical matter, there's several other nuances of Bitcoin that are very attractive to oil and gas guys that this kind of starts to highlight. Hmm. So um, as a practical matter, yes, I can turn it off and on. Right. Any, you know, really in a minutes, actually, which is kind of fascinating. Mm -hmm. Um Turning back on, I use a particular brand of miner called Watts Miners by mm -hmm. MicroBT. They take a little time to spin up, so they don't come back on instantly. Okay. About twenty three minutes, um, <laughs> but it's it's pretty it's pretty pretty quick. But I don't have to take my Bitcoin price that I produce on a given day because I've got other cash flow coming from the gas operation. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot less now. But um, I still have cash flow. As a producer, I made the comment earlier, there's no way to, only one way to transport gas, and that's through a pipeline. Mm -hmm. But when I burn it in a generator and produce Bitcoin with it, now I've got to, I've turned it to an asset that I can store. Right. In, you know, indefinitely. And, digital and energy. Digital energy. And sell it when I want. Uh, mm -hmm. at a price I want. Are you selling a lot of it or are you mostly hodling it? Just sitting, just stacking it. And what about looking into the future? Are you hoping to increase the Bitcoin proportion of yes. your business? Yeah. I mean, that's I've got enough capacity to for gas to do, you know, quadruple or almost tenfold my my production. And then my assets I do like the vertical integration aspect of it. Mhm. Mm and not being a single revenue source miner. Yep. Diversified. It's hard. I mean, these big industrial guys can do it because they've got scale. And they sell a lot of Bitcoin to do that. Yeah. Small guys, it's very hard to just mine Bitcoin and have that be your only source of revenue. Yeah. I kind of I prefer, you know, back to the long-term goal of accumulating Bitcoin rather than just producing it to sell it. So I'll grow my mining operation at a scale that I can always fund operations out of cash flow and really use the Bitcoin mining as as a way to just stack for the most part. I mean, not to say I won't get sucked into just doing a whole lot more mining and selling Bitcoin ultimately. Spoken like a true Bitcoiner. Yeah. Well, it's, Diamond it's all, hands. Yeah, <laughs> Never going to sell. It's all uh, kind of timing and opportunity. Um, there's, there's another big parallel or a, a big parallel between Bitcoin and oil and gas is the cyclicality of it. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe, click over here for more content, and we'll see you next time.